Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Let's do a quick update. Functional ice farm. Uh, mostly functional. There's a few blocks that don't freeze all the way, but it's not that big of a deal because they just happen to be in a slightly different biome. So for harvest gets four stacks of ice blocks, and then I throw. I have to throw one in corner here, bloop, and three over here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And then I go just mine the next three things that freeze. And if I'm feeling like I want to spend the time, uh, I put 16 ice blocks along here because these here, not being solid blocks, uh, the ice along there doesn't freeze super quickly. But no time today. So I got a bunch of ice. And I'm starting to make packed ice. Once I get a bunch of packed ice, I'll make some blue ice. I've made a few. It's super expensive. And for the most part, it's not that terribly more useful than packed ice. This is the important stuff. More lava. I got a bunch of lava buckets, so I'm ready to do some large scale smelting. More kelp. So you remember this layer? I've got the window out here into the cavern where Barb makes things put the glow berries so I would see them and I built a stone generator. Got stone and cobblestone. Uh, yeah, so I, I did some other stuff here. So I made a... Pointed dripstone farm. Um, did I just break what I think I just broke? Yes, I did. It'll grow again. It's fine. Um, so this stuff is interesting. It uh, it grows up and down at the same time. And a full load gets me about a stack of pointed dripstone, which I can combine into dripstone blocks. And this this is a pretty straightforward setup. Um, trough of water over some uh, dripstone blocks. I don't think it has to be dripstone blocks, but it is. I planted some glow berries up here so we get some light. And then just let it go. And it'll drip down and it builds up from up here and from down here and drips down from up there. Very cool. I expanded this room. It's quite a big bigger than it was. This is my entryway into this cavern. Oop, boop. Uh, and as I was expanding it out, for no good reason, I made it taller than I intended to. I guess I built this doorway lower down the staircase than I than I had planned. Opened up this little wall and uh, this little hole into a small cave. Nothing exciting here, but there's a spawner. So now the skeleton spawner right underneath my place. Which is interesting. I don't know that I need a second skeleton farm, but I might build one. Just because it's so close. But I have all kinds of bone meal, so I'm not hurting for that at all. Which means we can play around a little bit. So... Barb and VexFX both came across a uh, uh, lush cave, lush cavern. You get this, I got some flowery daily so I can build, you know, so I can grow them and so I got a little bit of rooted dirt. But this is the thing. I borrowed this from her. Let's grab some of that bone meal that I have. And this might be a stupid move, but we will... We will see. 
so this room I kind of intended to be like experimental. Like I could build farms here. I could do, just do temporary building things. So let's see what happens. I know what happens, but I want to I want to get additional uh, moss blocks so that I can repay Barb. Uh, I borrow this from her. I want to return it. I think she intended all the, the stuff as a, as a gift. But let's... Uh, so this is a way of converting things like, oh, uh, like stone into moss blocks, which is a questionable utility. But we get this carpet... And we could build a farm. What did I get out of that? I got a flower and azalea tree, a bunch of seeds, some moss carpet, and 27 moss blocks. So we can go repay Barb. All it took was one piece of bone meal. So this is not a lush cave. Uh, but Barbara's been kind of transforming it into one. Let's see, I believe. Nope. She's got all these little domes. I believe this stuff came from. Came from one of these chests. Oh. Right here. Boss block. Bloop. Thank you, Barb. Hey, what are you doing? <clears throat> I took all the repaired bows and I made a bunch of dispensers. I think that's going to be the most useful thing for all of the all the, the bows that we get out of this. And I should grab some more arrows, but I, I have more arrow storage back at home. But for the time being... Bloop. Thank you. <sighs> I wonder if I should um, make a stone generator that pushes stone out into a layer underneath a moss block and then bone meal it through a dispenser. Um, I think that's how the moss block farms work. That might be a useful thing to do for generating lots of moss blocks. Yeah, yeah. And I think I have enough room down there to do it. Did you see my lighting? I replaced all the torches with glow bears. I think it's cool. Plenty of light, and then I can I don't have to have any torches on the floor at all. Or in the room. Anyway, I think that's it. I just wanted to do a quick little update. Um, I need to start building up over at Mushroom Base. But I need some... I built a stone generator out there. So I could use that um, to start creating stone to build my, my initial structures. Um, I'm thinking I might want to... I think white concrete would be better. So, or gray concrete. Uh, so I may need to go find a desert to dig up a bunch of sand. Um, I came across one when I was on my way out, when, on, when I found the mushroom base. So maybe I'd go back out there and just sort of make my way back here. And when I find... The, uh, the desert, dig up a bunch of sand, and then use that with some of the gravel that I have here to make uh, to make some concrete. That could work. But that's all I got for right now. Everything else is pretty much the same. I think we're getting close to a point where we need to start thinking about going into the end. Killing the dragon, and so we can get a light truck. 
because that's the next annoying thing. Um, and figure out a way. I go. You know, I got more more llamas. Another trading. Another wandering trader died in the powdered stone. So I've got I've got quite a few llamas here. So I could outfit them with bot with chests if I can bring them. Like if I could get them in here and into the Nether, might be able to get them all over someplace else. And um, and load them up with sand. So anyway, anyway that's it. Thanks for watching. This is Theron and Wendell. And uh, I will see you next time. All right. Bye.